Hi learners, welcome to my channel Data Science University with Anmal V. Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2, Honda Seed Code, Question Type Easy, Question 607, Salesperson. The GitHub link for the solution is provided in the description below. You can join the Telegram and LinkedIn page community for further updates and discussion. Scan here to join the communities. The links are also provided in the video description. Now. Let's solve together the problem. They have given three tables. Okay. There is a salesperson's table. Okay. Company table and an order table. Okay. We can check this in uh, more detail. Now what they are asking. Write a solution to find the name of the salesperson who did not have any order related to the company with the name red. Okay, let us come back to that later. Let me show you this one first of all. Let us first try to understand the relationship between them. Okay. You can see here there is a salesperson table. So, wh what is the salesperson consisting of? Let us say there are some sales guys for some respect to company. Let me make it make it. Okay. Okay. Each salesperson is having some ideas. You can see here one, two, three, four, five salesperson. What are the name? What are the salaries? How much commission they charge? For each thing which they do and on which date they have hired. Simple salesperson. Okay. And let us assume there is a company just like Google, Microsoft, everything. Let us assume there are four companies company one, company two, company three, company four, red, orange, yellow, green are the company names. They are belonging to Boston, New York, Boston, sorry, yeah, again Boston and Austin. Okay. Now let us see. Now what is happening? Each company is making some orders. Okay. For that, they have a middleman or broker where the salespersons are doing in their behalf. You can see, for example, order 1 was taken place on 1-1-2014 by com ID. What is the com ID? 3. So, this com ID and the company table, orders table and company table are connected using com ID. So, who is the com ID 3? 1, Red and Boston. Okay. This order was taken place by com ID 3. And under the supervision of which sales ID guy? 4. So you can see sales is this guy. So we can see these three tables are connected in such a way that company table is connected to orders table using com ID and com ID. And similarly, sales table is connected to orders table using sales ID and the sales ID. Okay. Let us see here. First of all, what is that order? We can see. Um, what is the first order which was taking place? Com ID 3. So, can I say the first order is for this company? Similarly, second order is for company 4. Third order is for company 1. Similarly, fourth order is also for company 1. So, these two tables are connected like this. Again, what we are saying here. The first order was placed to sales ID 4 guy. So, 4. 
similarly second order 5 similarly third order 1 similarly fourth order 4 again okay you can see here so let us see we have seen all the things but what is the question they are asking this is the orders and with the salesperson take for some retrospective companies they are asking write a solution to find the names of the salespersons who did not have any orders related to the company with the company red okay so there are five people okay on an average there are five people out of these five people who are the people who did not make any orders for red company okay let us see for the first order okay first order was company three company three is yellow so no issue let us go to company two it is for company four again company four is green no issue let us go to com order three it is for company one what is company one red so this order was placed for company red okay red is okay but it is under of which salesperson supervision one okay who is this one guy let us come here this is the guy so one john made a purchase for red company okay similarly fourth order fourth order is again for company one which is red okay again a red order it is taken place by which sales guy four so who is the four we can see here four pam okay so out of one two three sales four five guys one and four made a purchase for red company so now which are the companies which didn't make so which are the salespersons who are the salesperson who didn't made any orders for red company they are mr 2 mr 3 and mr 5 okay who is 2 amy who is 3 mark who is 5 alex this is what they want so how to solve this question it is very simple First, I will join this. Let me call this as some C table, O table, S table. First, I will join this C table and O table using com ID and com ID. Okay. And I will filter for red. So, if I filter for red, I will get only the rows where the order is placed for red, right? Okay. For, a, for example, in this scenario, order 3 and order 4, you will get it. Now, after filtering for the red thing, let me take the sales IDs. Who are the sales IDs for this one? 1 and 4 are the sales IDs who made orders for red. Let me remove the 1 and 4 from this sales table. That's it. Step 1 is C and O table. Join them. Step 2. Filter for name equal to red. What is the step 3? Take the sales IDs. From this table, wherever red is there, take the sales IDs. Step 4. Remove these sales IDs from yes table. Okay. Let me do it for you using code. So, the step 1. Let me call DFS combination of these two tables, which is company dot merge orders. As I want only the matching rows, let me take inner join. How we are joining them? Left side on com ID. How we are joining using right side? Using com ID. Return DF. 
so we have combined these two tables okay but do I want everything I want to filter for only red rows okay let me filter the red rows df df is equal to df where df of name is equal to red okay so step one is done step two is done okay next what we need to take I don't want everything okay let me take only the sales ID okay and let me filter it from the salesperson table okay so how to do that I will write it like this I will say salesperson table give me all the things from the salesperson table such that salesperson salesperson sales ID column is not in df tables sales ID so whatever the combination sales ID is there from the above table that thing should not be there in the sales ID but we have only is in is not in is not available in pandas so if you want to write it is not in just write is in only but before this function just keep this tilde symbol it is behaving like not in okay let me run it now now you will get the result okay sales underscore person sales underscore person sales underscore person okay here also sales underscore person okay so can we see here we got all the rows we got the answer what from the above table 1 and 4 are the sales persons if you remove the 1 and 4 what are the remaining 2 3 5 but I don't want the entire table so let me select name as I want the output to be a data frame list of list I should keep it okay let me submit okay our solution has passed the initial case and also the all the uh, 15 to 14 uh, test cases also so we have successfully solved this problem it is little uh, tougher but it's easy only okay let me revise you once again there are three tables sales person table company table orders table this sales and orders table is connected using sales ID company and orders using com ID so what I did first I combined these two tables using com ID and com ID and wherever the company name is read I filtered down so I got to know that only order 3 and 4 are read from that I have taken the sales ID which are what 1 and 4 now next what I did see joining is done name is done I have taken the 1 and 4 such that from the salesperson table wherever the sales ID is not equal to 1 4 give me the rows from that take the names that is what we have done here I hope it's clear for everyone if you want the code solution for this it will be available in the github repository all my solutions for my videos will be provided solution here you can get the link from the video description and if you're further interested in learning data science data analytics machine learning NLP computer vision and generative AI stuff please fill in the Google form below my team will be reaching out to you and for further updates follow the official LinkedIn page provided below for further questions or doubts use the hashtag ask Amelie Prasad in comment section I'll be answering every comment which has this hashtag okay until then keep learning guys